let's talk about how to install a six port data wall plate and connect all of the wires. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to clean up those wires behind your TV or your console or your entertainment center or even your fireplace. And today I'm gonna to show you how to install a six port data wall plate. If you look behind our beautiful fireplace, you can see ethernet cables coming out of the wall. These ethernet cables are not connected to any data wall plates. So these wires look really messy. By adding a data wall plate and some wall jack plugs, we can make this look professional, smooth and clean. These are the tools you'll need for the installation. A cordless drill, a drywall saw, a pencil, wire strippers, a punch down tool, and a crimping tool if you're gonna make your own custom patch cables. And you may wanna use a level to keep those wall plates nice and straight. The first thing we had to do was pick the location of the six port data wall plate. And our location is in between the electrical outlet and the wire drop outlet. It's the perfect spot. And just a heads up, before you start cutting in the drywall, make sure there's no electrical or plumbing behind that wall. You can use a digital stud finder to detect plumbing and wires. To secure the six port data wall plate to the wall, we need to install a low voltage gain wall bracket and it costs less than $3. So all you have to do is place the bracket on the wall where you want to install it. Use the pencil to trace the inside of the bracket and start cutting. And just a heads up, there are other ways to do this, but I found this to be the easiest way. Once you cut the initial hole, put the bracket back on the wall to see how much more drywall you need to cut out. And because of the tight location, I had to be very careful not to break the drywall on either side. And that's the main reason why I started out with a smaller hole. After you're done cutting the drywall, insert the low voltage bracket, and then tighten the top right and the bottom left screw until the bracket is secured firmly. Now, pull all the ethernet cables through the new hole. We have five. And before we go any further, you probably notice that the outlets are not level, and even crooked. The builder of our home did a poor job of installing these outlets. And because even the smallest details matter, we're gonna go back and straighten out all these outlets after we're done installing the six port data wall plate. It's gonna look great, so make sure to watch until the end of this video. The next step is to terminate all these wires into the new wall jack plugs. And then once we're done, we'll insert all the wall jacks into the wall jack bracket. They snap in super easy. Even though I bought a five pack of these Cassix wall jacks, I have an extra one in my toolbox. So that makes six. And this is how you wanna connect the ethernet cable to the wall jack. And this works for Cat 5e and Cat 6. So first, I have to cut all five ethernet cables to remove the Cat 6 connectors. And then strip back the wires about an inch and a half to reveal all eight copper wires. And we're gonna use this punch down tool from a company called Commercial Electric. This will terminate the wires into the wall jack plugs. So now separate all eight wires. Okay, here's the order for the wall jack. White, brown, brown, orange, orange, white, be on this side. On this side, it's blue, blue, white, green, white, green. And we're gonna put them in like this. And if you want, you can use the small one. I wanna show you this real quick, how to use this. Just kinda of get down there, just to get it set in a little bit. Then we're gonna use the punch down tool. And for your convenience, there'll be a link right here to a short video that shows how to wire these wall jack plugs. This video is great for a quick reference, so make sure to check it out. And while you're at it, hit subscribe. It's completely free. Thanks. And then this side, we'll be doing green, green, white. I'll push those down. It's good to get these pushed down so they kind of get, get out of the way of the other wires. Blue, white and then blue. I'm gonna push those down as well, like so. So use the punch down tool to make sure all the wires are down inside the groove all the way. Once you have all the wires completely punched down, you can cut the excess wire off and then add the wire cover. Put the wire protector on top like that and you're good to go. And one down, four more to go. I only have five wires, so I'll do five data ports. I'll leave this one open. I'm going to put a plug in here, but it's not going to be connected to anything, so it'll look nice. But um, I only have five wires, so I don't think they sell a five port uh, data plate. If they do, I haven't seen one before, but all right, we got all five of these done. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting them into the 
six port wall plate. And I'm gonna put this one at the bottom here. It's gonna be going to our HDMI over ethernet. So I'll go ahead and put that one in here. That, that's the first one, pretty simple to do. And then the rest of them will just be whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'll put the, this one, I'll put this one right above here. And unfortunately, my camera battery died at this point. <laughs> and here is the finished six port data wall plate, all wired up. Now you simply push the wires back into the wall and screw on the faceplate. So after attaching the six port data wall plate, you can see that all four outlets are uneven and crooked. So now it's time to make it look pretty. I'm gonna add a new wire drop bracket and get all four outlets totally even and lined up. Installing the new wire drop outlet is as simple as adding the bracket, then adding the faceplate. And now I'll straighten up the coax outlet and then make some minor adjustments. And this is the finished product. It looks great and it looks professional. And you can see that I made some custom patch cables that go from the data port to the switch. There'll be a video link right here that explains that process. It's a very short video and it's a must watch. Installing a six port data wall plate is very simple and it's a lot of fun. Just follow my steps and installation is a breeze. And guys, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. And guys, don't forget, hit subscribe. It's free.